What are your priorities? What do you care about? What are you willing to do to prepare, secure, and fight for our future? Do you have the will? There are so many critical issues out there today that are impacting our members and all working people. Some are exciting as we embrace new technologies and learn of extraordinary measures some locals are taking to get politically involved, organized, and capture new markets. Others are downright frightening as we witness basic rights and freedoms being stripped away from our members and working people of all trades. Jobs, organizing, training, politics. These are essential components to any great union, but only if they are put fully into action. The words themselves are of little value. Times are tough and we need a unified plan for the future. A call to action that goes beyond survival. An action plan that leads us to be stronger than we've ever been before. Influential in our communities and vital to empowering the working men and women in North America. We can do it. The question is, as leaders of this great union, do you have the will to make it happen? Jobs. Providing jobs, safe jobs, good jobs, that is the foundation of our union's purpose. As of late, we have been challenged to fulfill this role as our countries have endured one of the greatest economic downfalls in our history. Times may be tough, but we still have our job to do. Members are still counting on us to do our part and find new work. It's not a passive role, it's an active one. And it starts with our relationships in business. It's true. Finding our members' work begins with our willingness to build bridges and partnerships with our local contractors. And here's how. Put your differences aside. Schedule a meeting and discuss how to move forward to find new business and get our members working again. Partner with your contractors to identify new emerging work. Educate them to new opportunities in areas of green, Push them to pursue these opportunities. Know what work is out there, work our contractors can bid on. The more we can help contractors identify potential jobs, the faster our members will get back to work. Partner with contractors to look not only for jobs, but for customers. Build trust, cooperation, and ramp up the PR that's coming out of your local so contractors and customers know the great things that our members are doing. Put code of excellence into action. Add this promise to your agreements. We are superior. We work to a higher standard and customers and contractors need to know we are committed to the success of every project. They have our word on it. Across North America, many locals are putting these practices into action, driving change and creating opportunities, but they need to be happening everywhere, in every corner, in every community, in every local. That's how we create change. There is so much we can be doing to take an active role in finding work for our members. Success in the future means going outside our comfort zones, working outside the box, thinking differently, acting differently, moving forward in contractor relations and establishing partnerships. It's not going to be easy, but it is vital if we want to get the work. Do you have the will? Organizing. We can't organize anyone or any workplace that doesn't first understand who we are. How well does your local area know what unions are all about? Union town or not, they need to know why unions exist, what labor has done for this country, and why unions are relevant today. What does your presence in the local community look like? Do both union and non-union contractors know who you are? As much as job creation depends upon relationships, organizing starts with relationships too but not just with contractors and customers. Organizing goes into your neighborhoods, schools, and communities. 
If you haven't worked to establish relationships with your local high school, college, local TV and radio stations, newspapers and community leaders, the time to start is now. How can we ask communities to support us when they don't know us? How can we pull young people into the trade when they only hear about us through anti-union propaganda? When there's a local shop to organize, how much easier would your job be if workers already knew the benefits of union labor? Plant the seed, leaders. Plant the union seed in every corner of your community. Get involved, volunteer, and share our story. Then, nurture what you've started through relationship building and continued communication, and there is no doubt your organizing efforts will grow. It takes work. It takes going outside your box. It takes a conscious decision to stake a claim in our future. Look around. Many locals across North America have stepped up their efforts to create those ties with local communities, schools, and the media. They're planting the seed with non-union contractors and winning jobs in non-traditional work. Now it's your turn. Do you have the will to do the community outreach, the relationship building, the organizing required to make change happen? Training. It's the heartbeat of our industry. And the ITI has been busier than ever working with our JATCs to keep apprentices and journeymen on top staying ahead of the curve and trained in the latest and most advanced technologies. Today, across North America, there's a lot happening inside our JATCs. Welding certifications, BIM certifications, HVAC fire life safety, TAB, green lead building, energy auditing, and more. ITI is doing all they can to move our apprentices forward, advance our journeymen, and prepare our members for future work. Are you? Are your members taking advantage of these training opportunities? Are they taking advantage of the new green curriculum? If not, it's time to get them moving in upgrading their skills. And there's more. Do you know what's expected to increase by up to 28% by the year 2016? Welding work. Whoever controls the welders controls the work, and the demand for certified welders is skyrocketing. In response, ITI developed a concentrated welding program. Are you encouraging your members to get certified? It will get them new work. Do they know about it? Have you told your contractors? Relationships, marketing, communication, information, education, organizing, training. They will all work together to move our industry forward. Are you willing to do your part? Politics. There's one more piece to our will puzzle, and it powerfully holds the key, for it can control, manipulate, and mandate issues that will either empower us as a union or make our lives a living hell. Politics. There is not a year in recent memory that shook the core of the labor movement more than the events of this past year. The attack on collective bargaining and workers' rights continues as anti-union politicians work to dismantle everything labor has worked for. Wisconsin was the poster child for our political enemies. It's just what they were hoping for. But what Wisconsin and Governor Walker didn't bank on was our reaction and the response of labor all across North America. As Governor Walker worked illegal angle after illegal angle to push his agenda through, our union brothers and sisters courageously got to work and mobilized the troops in support of Wisconsin's labor movement. Thousands upon thousands came to Madison, and it had been decades since the union movement had seen that kind of passionate public support. What have we learned? that the public will support us when they know the facts. We can motivate and mobilize our members. And the more members know what's at stake politically, the more they want to get involved. The negative political landscape doesn't end in Wisconsin. Attacks are brewing, agendas are being set, 
and dozens of states are aggressively moving forward with bills and recommendations that will tear unions apart and strip working people of the rights and freedoms we worked so hard to obtain. Jobs, health care, collective bargaining, social security, pensions, there is a lot we need to protect and even more we must stop immediately. Outsourcing jobs, elimination of PLAs and Davis-Bacon, and the latest in anti-worker trends like reinstituting child labor and the increasingly popular right to work for less. The list goes on and on. And if we want a future, if we want to save the next generation from losing every benefit labor ever fought for, we have to act. What does that mean? We have to get politically involved. We don't have a choice. You have to create a culture of political activism in your local. Identify members and retirees who could make a difference on the political scene. Encourage them to get involved with the community. Go door to door to inform and educate voters or even seek political office at the local level. Remember in November, mobilize your members and get out the vote. But don't stop there. Keep communication and outreach going throughout the year. Organize activism and encourage members to email, call, write letters, and visit elected officials as a matter of course. Get to know your legislators. Continue building relationships. Let friends know you support them and let those against us see us hard at work. Let them know we will not be silent. We will not go away. Madison proved one more thing. We do have the will, and we need to put it into action in every facet of this organization, in job creation, organizing, training, and politics. We need to fire up the troops and get moving. In our union alone, there are thousands of members who have unique talents and gifts that remain untapped and go far beyond the sheet metal trade. We have born leaders, natural organizers, writers, public speakers, artists, computer savvy minds, and more, all waiting to be tapped into. Identify these members and put them to work. We have outlets to reach every member every day to get them involved in union life outside the nine to five. We have Facebook, Twitter, blogs, YouTube. Use them, they're free and they are your public relations, political, and information tools. They keep members in the loop, recharge their batteries, and get them active. We've seen nations turned upside down and governments overthrown through these social media. They make a difference. Use them, fire up the troops, instill the will, and ignite the way. There is so much to do, brothers and sisters. Now let's go out and take care of business.